Sales uh, Product Management for Factory Talk Analytics at Rockwell. So much has been said about data science in the industry, but business leaders are constantly trying to stay educated on what data science has to offer and push the envelope for their business. This is why we have come up with this LinkedIn Live on industrial data science today to educate you better. As they say, knowledge is power, right? So Nitya, data is the oil on which analytics runs. And industrial analytics has some unique data challenges. So first of all, when you build a machine learning or analytics model, the data preparation phase uh, takes a long time, right? Secondly, uh, to get some meaningful insight out of it, we need to piece together the OT and IT data together uh, while also enriching it with a lot of context around it, right? Such as equipment, timestamp, shift. And to a business leader, this is a red flag. So how should they address this challenge? Yeah, Gaurav, so I think yeah, in the uh, industrial space, it's always been a challenge in terms of how do I consume the data? Right? Because uh, in the industrial space, we have disparate systems. And mm -hmm. some of these uh, systems in place today have come at different points in time with different technology. Um, so the data is not always, I would say, structured in a uniform way, right? So the biggest challenge is to get these uh, data together in a form that is common across the sources. The second thing, I think the biggest challenge here is the context. Um, the two ways to do it. The traditional way is get this disparate data, um, take it to a data store and then bring the context together. What I mean by context is like, in, especially in a shop floor or in a, in a production environment, as the product is being produced, it will be always be good to create, uh, capture the data and create a context along with the product that's being produced, meaning like, hey, the batch number, the lot number. And as the product comes out, if I have almost like, let's say the birth certificate of the product, uh -huh. like for example, okay, what are the speed of the machine? What was it taught? What was the axis of the robot when it was making a particular, uh, uh, let's say uh, a farming of that particular product? Uh -huh. And that's a very, very valuable information. And uh -huh. that's where I think we as Rockwell are trying to focus, like how can I build context at the source so that when this particular data comes out and gets stored in a, a centralized place, I already have the context of the uh, data along with the product that was made. So it just makes it very easy for any kind of analytics to be done. It can be uh, first to provide insights. At the same time, if they have any field issues, um, it's very easy to do a root cause analysis because you can focus more on the analytics rather than trying to get the data together when there is a crisis. So I think that's, that's, that's I think is a, 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 the challenge of bringing context is where I think uh, one of our product is trying to focus on bringing those things together. Like we just recently released our Factory Talk Edge Gateway, which actually uh -huh. position to add, build that context right at the source as the data wow. is coming as a controller. Wow, so that's that's a game-changing move, right? That's great. Uh, let's move on to the next topic. So unlike consumer analytics, industrial analytics requires a lot of process knowledge to build models, right? Uh, which is usually available with process engineers on the shop floor. But uh, at the same time, these people don't have data science skills, <laughs> which prevents them from building or deploying machine learning models. And that's a challenge. So it looks like you can't have the cake and eat it too. So what's the solution to this conundrum? Yeah, so the, the domain expertise usually lies with the OT engineers, right? So, and, but we have a lot of technology today in place, uh, both provided by like uh, cloud vendors as well as some very niche players in, in the analytics space. Um, but they require specialized technical knowledge, as you said, right? So I think what we are trying to do is like, how do I leverage, take advantage of these uh, technology but present it to the OT engineers who have the domain expertise in a way that it can, they can easily consume. Uh -huh. What we are doing is that we have like uh, two different approaches here. One is there are certain use cases that just uses the OT data. Uh -huh. and You can even apply some of the, like say machine learning techniques on the OT data to solve certain use cases where I usually it requires like a closed loop feedback mechanism. I want to react really fast. So we have product like Logix AI that exactly does that. It sits uh -huh. in the factory right next to the controller, consumes the OT data. But the way we package to the OT engineers is that that particular product is targeted at very, uh, at this point, like two or three use cases like soft sensor and anomaly detection. 
where the process engineer, the controls engineer, or the OT engineers can use that particular product without understanding the logic behind it. But if they have the use case that matches what the product is capable of, then they can just uh, train that particular model with the data that they have and with, they can understand and not worrying about the math behind it because it's already been packaged for a specific. Oh, wow. Case, right? now, also, there are certain use cases where I might need to look at not only just the OT data, but also the uh -huh. IT data. Yes. Yeah. Products like augmented modeler, where uh -huh. it consumes both data from both sides. And again, it is packaged for specific use cases like predictive maintenance and anomaly detection. Uh -huh. And again, the target user persona is again the OT engineers. Right? So they oh, wow. that well, and they can combine the data and they can train the model and uh, they can uh, deploy the model uh, to get insights. So we see like there is, there is this dichotomy, like uh, there are certain use cases where data scientists have to get involved and there are use cases where the OT engineers are more uh, suited to kind of uh, handle the, those use cases. And yep. that's why we have this uh, unique capability in mm -hmm. and augmented modeler for the process engineers. Awesome. So look, it does look like you can have the cake and eat it too, right? Mm -hmm. You can have the best of the both worlds with Rockwell Automation. That's, uh, that's really insightful. I feel so intelligent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I think we'll come to the last topic of the day. Along with the cloud revolution came the edge, and people are still trying to absorb that in. Now, a lot of high-speed operational data is produced at the edge or in plant floor settings. And many people advocate it's better to run machine learning models at the edge itself uh, to avoid network latency issues. And so what's your point of view on this and how does cloud play a role in it? Sure. See, there are a lot of uh, tech, uh, tech, uh, technology that's available in the cloud, right? That can be uh, utilized. Um, so uh, I think we are, uh, we definitely uh, understand the power that the cloud brings in, right? But we also uh, understand that, hey, that doesn't mean that I have to have only cloud only solutions or edge only solutions. That's not the case because there are multiple use cases where in certain cases, just um, being at the edge makes sense because of low latency and I need uh, high speed uh, mm -hmm. feedback mechanism that needs to go back into the process controls. On the other hand, um, we also do recognize that, hey, there's a lot more value when we can leverage the technology that's available in the cloud. And if you see a lot of um, big uh, enterprise customers, they are moving towards hey, a centralized uh, data scientist, let's say a team, like where there are use cases where I need to um, um, look at data from different sources, just not OT, but also IT, like EAM or ERP and uh, ME assistance and then bring those all data together, use some of the technology to provide very advanced insights. Right. So definitely um, uh, we are uh, leveraging the cloud capabilities as well. And we also want to support a, a model where the data scientists can create some of these models in a centralized place, maybe using cloud technologies. But when it comes to deployment, maybe there are cases where it, it needs to be deployed at the edge, right? So I can even do like model training and um, model scoring more at the cloud level, but when it comes to actual deployment of the analytical model, it can still be edge. So we do recognize that, and some of our products are also like kind of evolving into supporting that model. Right? We, mm -hmm. have, we have a data, data flow ML, which is a data science platform um, that can be uh, on-prem or a cloud, and then you can have a centralized uh, uh, model creation uh, capability there. But when it comes to deployment, is where then you can actually deploy it in the edge once the model has been um, tuned and your scored and you are comfortable with the performance of the model, right? And this also helps in model lifecycle management. Like a model cannot be, uh, uh, the same model cannot be running forever you know, for a given asset because things change, operating conditions change, the assets uh, uh, performance change. So the models also would actually undergo an evolution mm -hmm. of how uh, other things evolve. So we also need to have a model lifecycle management and so, and some of those capabilities are already there in the cloud. So we don't want to recreate them. You want just want to leverage that. So definitely it's not cloud versus edge. It's a combination. It's the use case that drives what technology to adopt and where should the model be deployed. So I hope that, uh, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's great. Uh, and with that, that's the end of our LinkedIn live session today on industrial data science challenges. 
hopefully you learned something new and are better positioned to run your business as a leader. Please follow us on Rockwell Automation on LinkedIn to stay updated on the latest in industrial analytics. Until next time.